Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes. This is Sinner Twin. So, right off the bat, here's the packaging. As you can see, it's just comes in a regular clamshell packaging. Got the power of the primes there on the side of the plastic. Pretty nice. And as you can see here, uh, how will the fierce Terracon Sentry wield the power of the primes? You got Center Twin in his robot mode, Center Twin in his beast mode. Uh, got Solus Prime, the weapon forger. Uh, Quintus Prime, Cedar of Life, Megatronus, the Dark Warrior. Choose your Prime. So, this along, goes along with Blot uh, to form Abominus. Uh, I was waiting until I got all of them before I continued uh, the Abominus reviews. And... My uh, my last one should be here today, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, film these. And once the last one gets here, I'll film that, and then we'll put them together to form Abominus. But as you can see, he comes with directions. These uh, Terracons are probably some of the easiest Transformers to transform. Uh, here's his card, Center Twin. Uh, this is Alpha Trion Center Twin. It uses one head to store knowledge and the other to wield it. Pretty cool. Um, but as you see here, the directions. So, let's go ahead and transform him into beast mode. We'll go ahead and, sorry about that, let's go ahead and lower this. And we'll take the hand out and the gun. Alright. So first and foremost, what you want to do is take his hands and they'll collapse inward. Just like that. And then his paws come up and they'll just kind of rest right there. They won't really click into place or anything. They just kind of rest there. All right. Then take his head, pull it back, tuck his uh, robot head down in there, bring this up, and it too just kind of sits in place. Okay. Next, we open up his legs. Just like that. And this is where it gets a little tricky because if you don't have it just right, it's not going to fold up in there correctly. And it just folds up like that okay then lock it back into place same with the other side bring his legs down his hind legs down anyway And then his tail, tails, whichever, come up like that. And then you just kind of lock it into place. And there you have Sinner Twin in beast mode. Now the G1 version of this guy is pretty cool. 
he was my favorite. One of my only Transformers, actually. But I just lo loved the way he looked. And now his jaws, his mouths, do open. They open up that wide. Just like that. Pretty cool. And he has what appears to be a second mouth, I guess, right here. I don't know what what the meaning of that is, but eh. So anyway, there's Center Twin in his beast mode, and he's cool. I like him. He's got the dual tails here. And they just lock into place there, like that. Let's bring his rear paws forward a bit. There we go. And yeah, he's he's good. He's a good center twin. Uh, I really love the yellow and blue contrast. And then we put his blaster. Right in the center of his back, right there. Just like that. He tuck his head down and fire. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. Uh, something else you might want to do. If you want the... Uh, Sorry about that. If you want the all the pieces to be connected so that they're not just lying around, you can put his cannon there on his leg. You can do it on the other side too, right there. And then put his this hand piece right there. And use it as kind of a uh, weapon. Which is alright. Not bad. Then got here. I guess uh, the prime piece goes in there. Power of the prime. But whenever you form abominus, you can. Open it up, just like that. And you can either fold this side in, so it looks like a hand, or you can pop it out. And this goes the same for either side, that's why there's two of them. You can have him be the left hand, or you can have him be the right arm. So, it's cool. Then, we're going to go ahead and kind of transform him back into robot mode, kind of not, because he can form a leg now. So we bring the tail back up, bring the hind legs up, like that, and then, let's see here. I'm going to double check the directions here because I do it a little bit differently how I think it looks best, but that may not actually be the correct way. So let's see here. For the leg, okay. It's going to stand up like that. No. For now. Because that's the bottom of the leg. That's where it pierce, pieces into. Okay. So yeah, there's there's not much to the uh, leg transformation. You just bring this piece up like that, and you can pretty much do whatever with the. Uh, 
with the legs. I kind of put them like that. Um, something else I like to do is rotate rotate it around. No. No. Because once you hook his leg in, if you want him to be a leg, you can have the heads up like that to kind of cover up that joint. So we're just going to as a leg we're going to put them just like that. Okay. And then let me grab something here real quick. What you're going to need to do is the foot piece comes with uh, hunger. All right. So you take that and I found that you're going to want to peg the hand piece here right into the back to give it a little bit of support. Okay. And then just like that. Okay. Now he's a leg. Uh, if you don't like the legs sticking out like that, you know, you can do other stuff with them. Like that. Whatever you want. It's not really a big deal. But yeah, there's center twin in leg mode. Now, I like to have him in uh, arm mode. I like him to be the arm, the uh, right arm of uh, Abominus. So what you're going to do, for the most part, everything's going to stay the same except his legs. The legs are going to come back down and you're going to want to fold this piece down bring it in and lock it into place okay and as you can see his legs arms whatever you want to call them they're on like a uh, little pin here where you can move them around however you want however you feel looks the best there's really no no set in stone way i mean yeah there's a recommendation there's directions or wh whatever there from creating a putting him in arm mode but oh no Go ahead and peg his head back in. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and go like that. Ah. And see, it, it does come apart. They're they very easily come apart. Rotate them like that. Put the hand in. We're going to take that piece off. And it just plugs in right there. Okay. And you've got a hand. Okay. You can, once you uh, have him in place, you can put his head heads like that or what however you want to and put his gun on his back 
so that it's more or less a shoulder cannon or whatever. And there he is, center twin in arm mode. Pretty cool. Next time we're going to be taking a look at Ripper Snapper. Tune in then, guys. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.